We were all having conversations with the Alberta government, trying to determine how could we help. This wasn't a direction from AHS uh, or from any government body. It was simply a group of like-minded business leaders who wanted to help the province. So we came with ourselves and Canna, who would do all the construction, Sprung, who had donated this, the structure, as well as a company called Falkville. Our mandate, we kind of said, was Albertans helping Albertans. We're putting up what's what Alberta Health Services is calling a pandemic response unit. The concept was a tent structure and we were placing the inpatient beds within the tent structure itself. When we got the phone call on the Friday afternoon, it was go time. So we started looking at an initial site. I physically drove down to Peter Lougheed and drove around the site. Um, I said to Pierre, okay, this is how we're gonna do this. We are going to split this project in two. So we're gonna have the structure, which is the floor, the base, and the tent, we're going to have that as one piece and then the interior fit out as the other piece. We started building a structure with no design inside. We were really truly doing design build. We were designing on the fly. I really think that this project uh, really wouldn't have been as success that it was without the lead from Randy Exner from AHS as well as Todd Hartley from Stantec. Um, they were kind of given the improbable task of creating a use for the facility, designing a floor plan, creating a spec, and getting approval from over 30 different AHS groups in a matter of two days so that we can meet our schedule. Once we got it nailed down to a 50 by 165 will work, then we really just got into the details of, of how do we lay out a bed. Um, we need to work in terms of nurses stations, so utility, what do we need for washrooms, um, sort of working out all the parts and pieces of the project. We rolled into the job uh, eventually running full face masks on everybody on site. Uh, we definitely set up right from the start good hand washing facilities and sanitizing procedures and maintaining social distancing where we could if we couldn't then we were using ppe and it's a good facility it's not a baseline mash unit i don't it's it's more than what i expected let's put it that way there is a lot more technology in that structure than i thought would go into it it's about the people involved in this job that's you know, we, we talk about like engineer there, they, you know, provided units in a matter of seven days from scratch that would normally take 12 to 16 weeks. Um, you know, the design that took three days from concept to approval to start building. Everyone on this job is really, um, their commitment and their engagement and level of professionalism and what they brought to the table with enthusiasm to get this job done is, is quite unbelievable. We can get this done quickly. We can expedite this, we can go fast. We can get the right, right decisions made. It says a lot for, I think, where we can go in the future, too, to help, especially on the flip side of this when it comes to the recovery of the economy. We can really fast track some projects to get them into the marketplace quickly.